My name is Presley Trammell. I'm from Greenville, Mississippi, and I graduated from Mississippi State University. Greenville's a small town. Um, everybody knows everybody there. There's a lot of culture. The blues are, you know, the blues were kind of founded in the Delta. So I've really enjoyed being in Memphis because that's kind of similar here. Still a lot of that culture from the music and the blues. Um, like I said, everyone knows everyone. It's kind of a big family atmosphere. Um, and yeah, small town. I was a little afraid when I moved to Memphis it was going to be too big but it really has been um, a good mix of big and small. I, feel, I still feel it's a very friendly town, that family atmosphere, um, and it's not too big. I was worried about the traffic, but um, now it's nothing to worry about. I've really enjoyed my time here. The thing I love about Memphis is that there's always something cool to do, whether it be an arts festival, going to the farmer's market, concerts at the Levitt Shell. There's so much to do that's you know really affordable for students and I, I'm really um, lucky and glad for that. Um, there's lots of restaurants I love to eat so I love trying out all the new restaurants downtown and in Midtown and there's just so many cool things going on here. Since I'm a non-science major I was pretty scared when I came to SEO. I was afraid I was not going to be as prepared as some people who were science majors. I actually got my degree in secondary education in Spanish, but I took the prerequisites for SEO. And once I got here, I realized that prepared me plenty for what I needed. You know, um, even with just the prerequisites, I was able to understand everything, keep up with the classes. I never felt like I was behind anyone. I was in love with it the first time I came here, but once I became a student, it was even more amazing and the people you meet and the family atmosphere it's just you know above any any other school that I went to and I can't imagine myself anywhere else. There's a ton of resources available to the students at SCO. There's tutoring that's offered um, which is free for the student who needs tutoring but also it's a work study for the person who does the tutoring so it's a great program. Also we have Dr. Leibowitz, which is the Director of Academic Support Services, and she is amazing. She has an office downstairs by all the first and second year labs, and it's always stocked with candy and Diet Coke. Um, you can go to her, and she is there to help you with anything. If you're having trouble figuring out how, what's working best for you to study, she's there to help you to figure out a study plan for you, to help you be the best student you can and to learn the most you can while you're here at school. Integrity is amazing because we have so many classes, it's a ton of material, it is. So Integrity is great because you can go back and re-watch the lectures, you can speed them up, you know, some of the teachers tend to talk a little slower, so it's nice you can kind of speed it up, make it go a little faster, or slow it down. Also there's a um, feature where you can search in the box that, and you can type in a keyword, um, say you want to find out about cataracts um, and you can type in cataracts and it'll pull up the slides that have cataract on it and you can search easily like that. So especially when it comes time for boards and stuff, we can access all of our integrities up until that point and if we want to go back and review something, we can use that feature and it, it will be great. Once I got here, it was just even more amazing because it's not just a show. It doesn't, you know, even when you come on tours and stuff, you see a little bit of that, but once you become a student and you start having to really interact with these teachers and your colleagues and your classmates, everyone is so helpful, more helpful than I ever imagined. And the teachers are amazing teachers, but they're also brilliant optometrists, you know, and they're the best in their field, but they're also amazing teachers. And that's one thing that um, I've really enjoyed. Sometimes when someone is such a great optometrist, they may not be able to teach it very well. But here, all the teachers are wonderful. All the staff is wonderful. I've gotten to know, you know, security guards and the president of the school. I've really enjoyed, everyone is so welcoming and it really does feel like a family. I had my first patient um, starting in the summer and just a few weeks ago, I happened to see him when I was working in the optical, he was coming in to get his glasses adjusted. He was about an 80 year old man and he was so sweet. But I went up to him and just introduced him, reintroduced myself and told him, you know, I had done his eye exam that first day 
and he gave me the biggest hug and that was the moment when I realized, you know, this is what I'm supposed to do and this is why I love optometry because of these patients. And it's amazing, you know, you have good days and you have bad days in school, but that moment right there was just made it all okay because, you know, that's why I'm here and that's why I chose optometry.